A controversial measure which aims to curb aggressive panhandling downtown is moving forward in the Indianapolis City County Council. It's called the sit and lie proposal. Tonight, the notion has turned into a debate with many calling it an attack on the city's homeless population. The signs say it all. One reading, being poor is not a sin. Demonizing the poor is. Another, people need homes, not fines. We are showing up as a community to say no to this uh, city ordinance that's trying to be passed, the sit and lie ordinance that uh, criminalizes our brother and sister, guised under a safety and protection uh, ordinance to the community. Tony Davis showed up inside the meeting to shame the idea, saying it's time to look at the root of the issues that produce so many panhandlers instead of criminalizing them. City County Councilors listened to the terms of the proposed sit and lie ordinance tonight for the first time. It would prohibit people from sitting or lying on city streets and sidewalks between 6 a.m. and midnight in the downtown Miles Square area. Over the last uh, probably four or five months, there's been a great uptick in the number of complaints and concerns from people who just don't feel safe when they're walking in downtown Indianapolis. City County Council Minority Leader Michael McQuillan drafted the proposed sit and lie ordinance. I just feel it's important that we have a conversation about making people feel safe. If there are people who are aggressively panhandling, they should be dealt with. No one should be laying or sitting on our streets. McQuillan stresses this is not an attack on the homeless, citing the number of shelters and resources available in Indianapolis. But protesters who stood in opposition in council chambers say otherwise. We've got to have the voice of those who are experiencing homelessness, those who've come out of homelessness, those who are property owners, those who don't own property property, those who are um, civic um, leaders, as well as just everyday folks. We cannot have a one-sided decision. The increase in the number of uh, panhandlers and homeless downtown is, is more than it was a few years ago, but without addressing the root causes, we're only pushing them under the rug and out of sight. Now, this matter was simply introduced to the full city county council tonight. The council committee will now take up the ordinance and hold a hearing on October 16th. Meantime, the IU Public Policy Institute has been looking into the panhandling in the downtown Indianapolis area. Its recent study found 96% of panhandlers identified themselves as being homeless. 53% of panhandlers reported panhandling was their sole form of income. And 86% say they use their earnings to buy food.